Welcome to members of the faculty, parents, and students to the 2020 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our National Honor Society chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence. You two are charged with maintaining as members of the, na of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Good evening, everybody. My name is Janet Frost. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Hudson High School chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by those candidates through effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as a standard for the society. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Service is the willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition. This is a quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in classroom and school activities. The real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals. And character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality and our goodness. Okay, so I'm Miss Coons. I'm the National Honor Society um, faculty advisor. And at this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have each inductee, Neil's gonna call your name, and you're gonna come up with your sign to come up here and get your photo taken. And then I'm gonna read to you something that one of the faculty members had said about you that makes you um, worthy and exemplifies the, the pillars of the National Honor Society. So each one of you gets your own statement from a teacher who knows you and um, wanted to give a, a statement. Okay, are we ready? I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Okay. Fahim has always gone out of his way to assure that he has mastered the course material and is prepared for future content. He has demonstrated a great deal of effort and is an asset to the classroom. His preparedness and attention to detail have contributed to his academic success and will undoubtedly lead to great things in the future. This was written by James McDarby. I have had the pleasure of working with Matt in school as well as in the community. In school, Matt is a strong student with leadership skills, is trustworthy, kind, respectful, athletic, and has outstanding academic ability. He is not only a team player, but also a team leader. He displays character and moral values in and out of school. As a former NHS member, I make these recommendations very seriously. I'm looking for a well-rounded individual that encompasses all of the pillars. I believe Matt exemplifies the qualities of each pillar and would be a great asset to National Honor Society. This was written by Mrs. Lockman. I have known Gabe Case since his early years at M.C. Smith. I am impressed at the young man that Gabe has become. He has faced challenges head on and has found himself at the top of his class. He is committed to his, his athletics as well as his future plans. I see great things for Gabe. This was written by Mrs. Novine. I have known Jake to be a student with a larger than life personality who uses his sense of humor and positive attitude to improve the lives of others around him. In the classroom and with his schoolwork, Jake is a diligent student who always tries his hardest, even when something might not come easy to him. Working with him on the Hudson High School Student Council has been especially been a privilege. He is unafraid to speak his mind and share his ideas with others. 
He has an integral part of our planned community service project last year. Jake is an all around nice young man who checks off all of their criteria for an excellent addition to the National Honor Society. This was written by Laura Bender. Mahir is a very creative and artistic young man. He also has a great sense of humor. These characteristics allow him to contribute well to many projects and activities, as well as to come up with many unique ideas. With these talents, Mahir will be able to contribute tremendously to the National Honor Society. He makes an, a great addition. This was written by Jessica Flint. Riley is a wonderful young man. He is kind and supportive to all he meets. Riley is a student that strives for excellence. I have seen him go above and beyond to make his classmates feel included. He always has a smile on his face and is polite and respectful. He has a passion for cross country track and be counted on to work and support the class of 2022. I believe Riley will be very successful in his future endeavors. This was written by Janet Rust. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Sydney's mature and hard working teacher will make her a great addition to the National Honor Society. She works well with others but also takes charge when things need to get done. Sydney has exceptional work ethic and character that will allow her to contribute to the many service projects of National Honor Society. This was written by Jessica Flint. Yes. Okay. Olivia is an all around excellent student. She is intelligent and challenges herself by taking rigorous courses. Olivia is very involved in her school community. She is mature and dependable. Olivia is an asset to the class of 2022 and will be an asset to the National Honor Society. This was written by Teresa Cipollari. Okay. Rafia is in my A Push history class. She showed through her summer work and the semester so far, her perseverance, her intellectual curiosity, and good humor. She is also a school leader and an excellent dancer that I have had the pleasure to watch. Rafia is an outstanding example of a Hudson High School student and member of the National Honor Society. This was written by Sally Naramore. These two following candidates were also elected to this year's National Honor Society, but were unfortunately unable to attend. Lauren Might and Gabri uh, Gabriella Povo. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Ariana has consistently demonstrated a passion and love for learning. She has proven to be reliable, steadfast in her determination, and an exemplary role model for her classmates. Her personality and outlook not only contribute to her academic success, but they help promote a warm, cohesive classroom that helps everyone around her. This was written by James McDarby.
Vanessa is one of the most diligent students that I have ever had the pleasure of teaching. Actively engaged in her own learning, Vanessa advocates for herself and consistently goes, goes above and beyond to understand material. She's intrinsically motivated to reach the high bar she continuously sets for herself. Beyond her schoolwork, Vanessa is a compassionate, kind young woman who cares for others and always upholds the National Honor Society criteria of good character. Congratulations to Vanessa from Laura Bender. Reagan is a great candidate for National Honor Society. Not only due to her academic excellence, she's also newly elected president of the Music Honor Society, Triumph, but also embodies a kindness, empathy, and humility when interacting with others, a true ambassador of Hudson High. This was written by Rocky Payne. We have another National Honor Society candidate who is unable to attend today and her name is Annalise Eid. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands and will maintain and encourage high standards of scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Okay, it is my pleasure to recommend Morgan to pass to be inducted to the National Honor Society. For the past two years, Morgan has been an active member of Hudson's Trium National Music Honor Society chapter. In that time, she has spent countless hours playing in benefit concerts, vol volunteering at events, and spreading her joy for music. Morgan has shown leadership in our department by being a, an officer for our select choir and section leader in our Winds Ensemble trumpet section. She has shown remarkable work ethic by playing level four NISMA solos and composing music outside of class. Morgan is exemplary student and exemplary qualified candidate for the National Honor Society. This was written by Scott Borowald. Danielle is a very hardworking student and she takes her education seriously. She is also one of our most outstanding athletes. It is rare for us to have a student who is both athletically talented and a top academic. In addition, Danielle has very strong leadership skills and will make an outstanding member of National Honor Society. This was written by Wayne Kinney. Fatima takes her education very seriously. She is always striving to improve herself. For her, anything less than 100% is not acceptable. Fatima would be a positive role model for other students in our district and makes an outstanding candidate for National Honor Society. This was written by Wayne Kinney. Simon is a great candidate for National Honor Society as he strives for excellence and wants to continually challenge himself by taking the most challenging classes. What also stands out about Simon is that he wants to make a difference in the world and to make it a better place. He is a very kind and peaceful young man and makes an outstanding candidate for National Honor Society. This was written by Rocky Payne. We have one more candidate for this year's National Honor Society, but she is unable to, uh, to attend this um, moment, and her name is Denea Oliver Raglan. Um, I came into this year as the um, advisor with no officers. Um, all of the officers last year um, were graduating. So I came into this year, um, we are going to do elections um, this month, so um, th that may change. I would hope Neil would consider staying on. Good evening. On behalf of the administration and faculty of the Hudson City School District, I would like to welcome all of you to the 2020 Hudson High School Honor Society induction. But before we get started, I would like to thank our Honor Society advisor, Mrs. Coons, and faculty council representative, Mrs. Brust. A special thanks goes out to all of the parents and guardians that are also in attendance this evening. I would be remiss if I did not mention this. Always remember that induction to the National Honor Society is only the beginning. 
not the end. You are all well on your way to making wonderful contributions to our world and are well on your way to leaving a legacy that will carry on for future generations of Hudson High School students. Keep up the good work that got you here to this prestigious honor. Congratulations to all of you once again, and please continue to make your school proud, your teachers proud, your parents proud, and most importantly, yourselves proud. Thank you again.